triumphal arches are erected in order to commemorate famous leaders in history. However, each arch is unique from the other one based upon the materials they are constructed from. Specifically, the Washington Square Arch, which is constructed out of Tuckahoe marble, exclusively found in East Chester, New York. The materials that are used for building the different triumphal arches are what make each arch significant and unique to their location and their people. The Washington Square Arch, which is situated in the historical Greenwich Village of New York City, was never originally intended to be erected. In fact, the only reason why it was primarily built there was to satisfy the needs of the people of New York City. The idea of the Washington Square Arch and the Washington Square Park first came about in the economic boom of 1825. The rise in economy happened due to the opening of the Erie Canal. With this came the comfort of living for many, as well as a rise in national pride for everyone. As a result, many emphasized the need to build a monument that not only commemorated our first president, who we of course pay tribute to for being our country's first leader, but also commemorate America's up-and-coming power in the 19th century. The wood and plaster model of the Washington Triumphal Arch became so popular in Greenwich Village, the commissioners of New York decided to permanently construct it with marble from the East Chester Quarries. The Tuckahoe marble from the East Chester Quarries contributed to the construction of most of New York City's buildings and monuments that we have today. This makes the marble unique and significant to New Yorkers because that marble represents New York and its people only. This brings about a sense of pride for many New Yorkers because we can feel proud that our famous monuments and buildings were constructed from New York stone. In order to show how the materials of triumphal arches made each one unique to their land and people, we have to go back in time. In 15 AD, the Arch of Constantine was erected in order to commemorate Constantine I's victory over Maxinius and the Battle of Malivian. Instead of building his arch entirely from scratch, Constantine took the ruins of the arches from different emperors in order to signify how he was a great leader like them. Regardless of the conglomerate of arches that made it up, Constantine's arch was still mainly constructed of lunar marble, which was quarried around modern-day Carrera, Italy. This is important for the people of Italy because most of their ancient buildings were constructed from lunar marble. Like us New Yorkers, Italians take pride in what was created from their country's natural materials. The Arc de Triomphe was erected in 1836 in order to commemorate those who fought during the Napoleonic Wars. As you can see, the Washington Square Arch closely resembles the structure of the Arc de Triomphe from its strikingly similar design to its intricate detailing on its facade. However, its makeup of stone greatly differs from the Washington Square Arch. The Arc de Triomphe is built out of limestone, which came from the quarries in Bonn, France. Like the other arches, this unique use of material is what gives the people of France a feeling of nationalistic pride. Back in New York City, we see how the Washington Square Arch was influenced by two of the many triumphal arches that stand around the world. The Washington Square Arch serves as New York's way of commemorating George Washington, America's first president and arguably our best. Our first president being commemorated out of New York's own stone is the most nationalistic it gets for proud Americans. Although all the arches shown create a sense of pride for their people and their location, their meanings differ. Luna marble might not mean much to New Yorkers, and Tuckahoe marble is most likely unheard of in Italy. On the same note, limestone might not be as popular in New York architecture as it might be in French architecture. This further proves that all arches hold a uniqueness to them that give their people a sense of pride in their country. 